Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I've been seeing everywhere on my For You page at the moment that like dirty girl mob wife makeup is in. And I'm so excited because I feel like this is the style of makeup I did back in the day and now like clean girl makeup has been in for like two years. So I'm literally so excited to try this out. I literally have clean girl nails right now. I should have got some like mob girl nails on but that's okay we're going to try our best to recreate this look i'm going to give you a little step by step it's not really a tutorial because i haven't done this in years so we're going to try it out but i thought you guys could like follow along and if you like the way it turns out you could try it out for yourself so let's get into it okay i am going to get my hair out of my face just because i don't want foundation in my hair i'm also freshly tanned i specifically did this for this video because I feel like I used to uh, I used to tan all the time before I did my makeup and then recently because like clean girl makeup's in I've just been naturally tanned naturally colored so now I'm ready to bring back my dirty girl tanned girl bronzed face back so let's do it first of all we've got to wax this face because I don't want to be hairy I think I took a bit too much on my eyebrow I love seeing hairs come out. It's so satisfying. Ah! That one's spicy. Even though we're going for dirty girl look, we don't want dirty girl eyebrows because that's a no-no. We just want to make them like thick and pomade-y. We don't want to make them like, you know, hairy as... That's where I draw the line. I draw the line at my hairy eyebrows. Ah! Far out, that hurts. Ah! Spicy. They need a chop. Step one, skin prep. You still have to skin prep because you want this shit to last all day. All day. I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Okay, first thing, skin prep. This basically has nothing to do with the actual makeup itself because I'm always gonna do skin prep regardless. I use this Effaclair Hyaluronic Acid and it also has niacinamide in it. It's absolutely beautiful and it's one of my favorite products. It is on the more expensive side, but you pay for what you get and this is perfection. Love it. I'm literally like so out. Anyways, next, moisturizer. This is the Neutrogena one. I just like how thin it is. It has no fragrance. It doesn't have um, any pore clogging ingredients, which is really incredible. So this is her. She is my one true love. Yeah, that's basically all I do. I'll put sunscreen on as well, but I'm not going to today because I'm literally just filming inside all day. So. There's really no need for sunscreen and I'm not going for the glowy look. So that is her. Now, the biggest step of like 2016 mob wife, dirty girl makeup. You got to prep your skin with MAC Prep and Prime. It's just the rules. Like you just have to. So and then you got to fan yourself because obviously that is doing something. Clearly, I've packed my makeup bag because I'm about to go on holidays. Okay, something really important is you have to wet your beauty blender. Like, be for real, we all did this. I'm going to go wet it and I'll be right back. Okay, she's juicy and she's ready. She's ready to do her thing. So, Born This Way foundation. This was like a staple, man. Some of this. Oops, huge. And then a little bit of the Revolution one because it's thicker and we liked to be thick back in the day. So, just blend all of this in. It's going to be orange, but we like being orange. That's the whole point. Beat that face, girly. We're tanned. We're... Honestly, when I was younger, I used to spend like two hours on this kind of makeup look, but... I'm just efficient these days, so I can do this pretty fast. Mm. 
now we're looking oh on camera i don't look as orange it's kind of making me look snatched but now we're like kind of orange kind of slang let's be honest move on to concealer let's be honest we all had the craziest concealer ever i'm doing a more like updated mob wife look because i don't want to look like 2016 it's more just like a full coverage look. So we've got the concealer on. I've put a little bit more than I would like clean girl makeup look, but not like the massive triangle that we used to do because that is not acceptable these days. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. I'm going to use a brush for this. And I'm really just going to bronze up. Bronzing up is a big step. Work your way up. You don't want to work your way down on the cheeks. Otherwise, you're going to look like you have bad bone structure. So get some product. Start here. Work up. Nose contour. How slay does she look? Honestly, obsessed already. We don't want to blend the concealer out yet because we want the concealer to be full coverage, bright, illuminous. Like, we just want it to, like, really, like, puff out, you know? Blush. Get some of that on there and really blush up those cheeks. You want them to be popping. We want to look blushed. We want to look like we've just ran a marathon, even though we could never. Let's be honest. We could never. So that's what we want to look like. Beauty blender. Blend all of this together. The bronzer, the blush. And then we're also going to blend out the concealer. Look how bright she is. She is screaming under eyes, under eyes galore. You gotta keep blending though, because we don't wanna be patchy, we don't wanna be non-blended. We still wanna be blended. We wanna look, we wanna look good. We want a full coverage moment. Okay, big step. You need the Laura Mercier powder. We need to bake. By the side of the nose. Under the eye. Bake that shiz. 180 degrees, man. Bake under the contour. Big step. Big fluffy brush. Not with a pressed powder, with a translucent powder. We're going to powder the rest of the face because we want it to be matte. Okay, next step, eyebrows. I'm using the Benefit Brow Pomade. I know that Anastasia one is the pomade, but I've really liked this one. So I'm just filling in the second half of my brow. Not the front completely, because I already have really hairy brows, but fill in all the ends. Use the other side of the spoolie and just Brush them into place to like blend the product. And that's the brows done. We don't need any brow gel. That's just, that's just how it is. Okay, I'd say this is one of the most important steps is eyeliner. You need a good eyeliner. I'm using this Mecca one in a dark brown because I have really dark brown eyes. I just think it suits me better than black. So I'm using brown. But use whatever you think suits you, to be honest. As long as it's a darker colour. You don't want any of that nude or white stuff. Look at that already. She's looking hunky. Okay, just did my tight line too. Time to do this eye. Uh. 
eyeliner completed. Now, lashes. We want these babies big. We want them fluffy. We don't want any of that like one coat natural crap. We want them to be big and bulky and bushy and like we have natural extensions. That's the best way I like to view it. Okay, mascara. I've got hairs all on my mascara. Dirty Girl Core. Make sure you're really coating them. And then we've got to put some on the bottom lashes, which we which we haven't done in years. This is the eyes. I have glitter on my face. Okay, last step. We're up to the last step, which is the lips. Grab your lip liner. Line them lips. My lip liner is blunt as, but it just adds to the effect. Then a little bit of matte lipstick. And then you can leave it like that. Personally, I think gloss makes you look expensive and mob wifey so i'm going in for the gloss but you definitely do not have to go in for what's more suited to you but i just think the gloss really this is oil actually i think it really adds to the look The last step is to finish with Prep and Prime again. Take off our headband. Make sure our hair is like a little bit scruffy. And this is the finish Mob Wife Dirty Girl makeup look. I'm actually obsessed that this is like back in at the moment because I just think it's like so refreshing from the clean girl look like it's such a nice look it's such a good like go to the bar with your friends look it's such a nice everything like it's just cute I love it I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching I love you all Mwah. have the best day ever and if you recreate this please tag me because I would love to see your videos and your gorgeous faces because you guys are my life, Illy. Love you guys. Mwah. Goodbye.